The characters, whose voices you are about to hear, are fictional, but their words are an accurate representation of the sentiments of people who lived through these events. The lads got Collins last night. Ten days after they lost their president, Arthur Griffith, the pro-treaty crowd have lost their best man now. Serves Collins right. Stopping to return fire in a place like Bain Le Blah. God, if he'd ever done any real fighting himself, he would have known better. But then, he always got others to do his dirty work for him. Some of the lads were upset about it. But as far as I see it, he's not with us, so he's against us. Things seem to be settling a little. I suppose with Collins gone, we can all rest a little easier. Anyways, they seem to be distracted enough killing each other in the south for us to have to bother about them now. Even the Catholic Church is siding against the IRE. Yesterday they issued a letter to all of their lot telling them to recognise the new setup in the south on pain of excommunication or something like that. Ma was always right when she said that the bishops would end up ruling them down in Dublin. Christ, they're worse than the British ever were. They gave themselves all sorts of powers in September. Military courts, the death penalty for Lytton or Notting, using the prisons to sweep us up without any kind of fairness. Of course, we answered back. Some of our lot shot Sean Hales on December 7th, but the next morning, they took our four from the prisons and killed them. The four were in prison since July, had nothing to do with the shooting at all. Spite is all that was. They did it on a holy day and all. Killing Erskine Childers was bad enough, all because he was caught with a stupid little gun Collins had given him. They just want to wipe us out now, not fight us fair and square. Maybe because we got their precious Collins, but even Collins would have thought better than to fight dirty like this. The Irish Free State, as they're calling it, came into being on the 6th, and it only took two days to show how things stand. A slave state, more like, doing England's bidding 